Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work and health and strength is good. What? Now, so so I'm doing a follow-up now on this X, Xbox uh, Series S external uh, external uh, uh, drive. I got this article here from Tech Radar. <clears throat> Listen to this. You ready? Here we go. Says here, Microsoft. This from Tech Radar. Says Microsoft has plans for an external for an Xbox Series S external disk drive. This is the second video. Anyway, says here, uh, the digital only console could one day run disk. Hmm. Says here, a new patent suggests Microsoft is designing a system that would allow the Xbox Series S to play physical game disc. Although Microsoft hasn't confirmed the product, the speculative system would enable owners of the digital-only console to convert their physical games into downloadable copies. Hmm. As, spotted, as spotted by Game Rent, the patent describes a system that would validate your ownership of a physical game before granting you access to its digital versions to download online. The system would involve two devices, one that include an optical drive capable of reading game disc and verifying your ownership, and a second that, that you use to download the games. It sounds akin to pairing a console with an external disc drive, albeit a drive that capable of independently connecting with Xbox servers to authenticate game ownership. If rolled out for the latest generation of consoles, it would effectively allow owners of the Xbox Series S to run physical copies of their games through the console. It says here, in the patent, Microsoft say, wait a minute, Microsoft say such a system would address concerns over backwards compatibility. Some players are reluctant to upgrade to the next console generation because they can't carry over their existing library of physical Xbox games to digital only systems. Right? It says here, many next gen video game devices being developed are configured without hardware component for physical, you know, for playing physical video games media, the patent says. It says, consequently, when an owner of a previous generation video game device purchased a next gen video game device, the owner is unable to play their physical video game media. It continues. Hmm. Instead, the owner must repurchase the, di the digital version of the video game content for next generation video game device. This scenario is undesirable for multiple reasons. And it says here, the device, it says, another topic here, it says, we can, we can hope. The device described in the patent sounds like a handy feature. Not only would it give console owners access to their back catalog of Xbox titles, but it would let them purchase games without having to go through the Xbox store. Physical edition of games can often, can often be found for less than the price they listed on Microsoft Digital Marketplace. So bulking up your gaming library with disc copies can sometimes be a more affordable route. Hmm. However, the patent leaves many details hanging in the air. For one, it is not clear what the device describes in the patent would, like, would look like. It may take the form of a traditional external disk drive that would need to be purchased separately from the main console. But it may be something else entirely. An Xbox One, for example, seems capable of reading optical disk and connecting to the connecting to Xbox servers. So seems capable of fulfilling the same function. Then it says, finally, the patent doesn't, whoops, finally, the patent doesn't spe specify what happens to the disc copy 
of a game once you verify it. It's likely that each disc can only be authenticated once in an effort to prevent digital piracy. Although it's unclear if it could still be used on a console that's not connected to Microsoft server. As with all patents, nothing is confirmed. The device presented in this uh, patent might be years away from making it to market or may never see the light of day. And there you have it. An external drive for the Xbox uh, Series S would do the system uh, do the system justice. And um, uh, and you can play your physical games to the uh, you can play you can, you can play your physical games on that system with the external uh, uh, drive, uh, Blu-ray drive that is, and it sh it should it should be an easy fix when you really look at it because you got the Xbox Series X, but then you go out to the store and say you buy it you buy an external uh, Blu-ray drive, and all you do is just download the software from the Microsoft's from Microsoft website and it should fix the problem just like that so um, an external uh, drive uh, uh, blu-ray drive for the Xbox uh, Series S will do the system justice and, it, and um, it'll bring a lot of relief to people because you know some people like I, like I told you guys before some people can afford the Xbox Series S and then there's some that can afford the X so the ones that afford the Series S they should have the same they should have the same uh, like the same drive like the X so they can play their games you know because um, when it comes to this um, when it comes to uh, like say 4K and 8Ks some, most, some people don't even care about that they just want a console that, that they can play the games on and others do care about it that's why they get the Series X but, um, but the Series X for the price that they're selling, the Series S for the price that they're selling it, it's um, um, it's a it's a it's a good deal, and for three hundred bucks, and you're running games at fourteen forty p. It's a good deal, man. And, um, uh, all you gotta do is get a good monitor, and then not only that, with the price that you're paying it for, you can like now save up to get a better external. Uh, external um, uh, SS, SSD and then go on from there but the system the system is it's a good price and um, you're getting your money's worth based on what you pay for so you know it was overdue you know because um, most people were using the Xbox Series S on YouTube as a punching bag if you notice most YouTubers when they talk about the Xbox Series S they always focus on the, ne the negative and they think this system to them they think the system has no value but if you if you understand tech for the price that you're paying it for it's a good deal they just need that drive so Microsoft probably heard the cries and the and the, the anger out of people like why is this console doesn't have a, a drive and I'm pretty sure they're trying to respond to it you know, um, coming up with a coming up with a way to play your physical games you know? or maybe you could um you can use the, the Xbox One as a go-between to transfer the games to the Series S and then play. You know? But only time will tell. But other than that, man, um, Series S is good, man. And, um, the good thing about digital games, <laughs> you know, it saves you some space in your residence. <laughs> but the system, um, you know, people, a lot of people like it. You know, it's, it was overdue, though, when it comes to the, uh, the drive. It was... It was overdue. I think Microsoft was probably playing Russian roulette with the Series S. You know, like we, we're just gonna make one physical system and we're gonna make one digital. It's gonna put it out there and see 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 what feedbacks we get. And based on the feedback, the feedbacks turn into backlash because <laughs> people like the Series S. They like the size. They like the uh, the size, the uh, and how light it is and the weight of it. So they're like, okay. I want to play some physical games on here and I guess the noise kept building so now Microsoft is trying to respond so we'll see but other than that man um, it's a good console man for what, for what you're getting, getting it for you know um, 
if you're not if you're not that tech savvy, if you're not that tech savvy, you just want a console to play. Series S is the way to go, you know. Um, um, the the Series X now is like for well, people who are into heavy duty graphics and all that. You know? But Series S, you are good, you know. And we shall see when um when they come out with this uh this optical drive or when it happens, you know. And go on from uh, and, and then go on from there. But other than that. I just did a follow-up video to the second, found another article on this, so I figured I'd just do the video and just let you know that what I'm saying is not, it's not made up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek.